Welcome to Engineers Edge GDT applications. I have received a request that is unique. And what we have is a extruded geometry of some width W plus or minus ten thousands and we need to relate a cutout feature back to our width W uniquely. And our cutout is two inches, five hundred thousandths, plus or minus two thousandths. And the requirements are that our cutout feature shall be related back to our W feature to a positional tolerance not greater than five thousandths at the nominal size of two inches, five hundred thousandths. Additionally, what needs to happen is that our positional tolerance can increase bilateral equal as the size of our cutout feature diverges from the nominal size. Well, that's interesting. Let's ensure that we understand what the requirements are. So I'm going to draw a simple Cartesian coordinate system. And let's say that my vertical axes will be my allowed positional tolerance of my cutout feature to my W feature. And then our horizontal axes will be the size of our cutout feature. So we know that our nominal size of our cutout is um, 2 inches 500. The largest we're allowed to manufacture is 2 inches 502 and then the smallest would be 2 inches 498 thousandths. Great. So at 205, 2 inches 500 thousandths, the positional tolerance I'm allowed is 5 thousandths. And as I diverge in size, I'm allowed an increase, bilateral equal. equal to that amount of size diversion. So, if I start at 2 inches 500 and I increase in size to 2 inches 502, I'm allowed 7. And if I start at 2 inches 500 and I decrease in size to 2 inches 498, I'm allowed a positional tolerance of 7 thousandths as well. Okay, that's wonderful. So, how do we define this requirement on our engineering drawing? First, I need to declare my W width as a datum feature. Since we're going to be using position, we need to have a datum reference. Datum A will resolve into a datum plane using datum simulators acceptable measurement techniques. So now what I need to do is to find my positional tolerance of my cutout feature back to datum A. So what I'm going to do is change my limits of size definition. What I want to do is say 
plus two thousandths and then minus zero. Now that's incomplete. So what I'm going to do is define another limits of size. Now this may seem redundant, so hang with us. In this case, I'm going to say plus zero and minus two. So I have two definitions. And what I want is, is for my positional tolerance to diverge bilateral equal from my nominal of two inches five hundred thousandths. So for my upper limits of size definition, item number one, maximum material condition size would be the smallest, which is two inches five hundred thousandths for an internal feature size. And then my least material condition size would be the plus two thousand, two inches five hundred and two. So I'm going to define a positional tolerance that varies from MMC to LMC that allows it to diverge that 2000. So what I'm going to say is positional. My start positional tolerance is 5 at regard, actually at maximum material condition relative to data A. There you go. So my lower limits of size definition, item number two, needs to diverge from the nominal of two inches five hundred thousandths and increase in positional tolerance as I change size. So in this case, my least material condition size is the two hundred and two inches five hundred thousandths, and my maximum material condition would be that size smaller. So here I'm going to define a positional tolerance of five thousandths at least material condition relative to data main. Okay then, so let's verify our definitions and let's take item number one and let's just do a quick chart to see what we have so I'm going to do size versus positional tolerance we have two inches five hundred thousandths plus two minus zero located positional tolerance of five thousandths at MMC relative to datum A so our MMC size is two inches five hundred and we're allowed five thousands at that size. We're going to diverge so at two inches five hundred and one I've diverged by one thousands therefore I'm allowed six then at my least material condition size at two inches five hundred and two I'm allowed, well, seven thousandths. Okay, great. That works. So let's verify our other positional definition. And in this case, item number two, um, I'm going to s chart this as well. size versus position. So our least material condition size is two inches five hundred at that size. I'm allowed a positional of five thousands. As I diverge from LMC to MMC I get smaller so two inches 499 I diverged by one now I'm allowed six two inches 498 I diverged by two thousands now I'm allowed seven okay 
so that makes sense. Not bad for my first attempt. And let's just do a quick review to see if it makes sense. Requirements again was at nominal we were allowed five thousands. As we diverge from the nominal of two inches five hundred thousands plus two minus two, we were allowed a positional tolerance that can increase bilaterally equally. And we have a positional tolerance for our upper feature limits of size. Item number one, two inches five hundred from zero to plus two, positional five thousands at MMC relative to A. We charted that out. We increased from five to seven. Then our lower limits of size definition of plus zero minus two, item number two, positional 5,000 LMC relative to datum A. We charted that out as well. So from nominal, we started at five, and then at the MMC, which is going from LMC to MMC, we're allowed seven. So this all works. Thank you for watching Engineers Edge GDNT applications.